up guys this is your boy alpha medtech and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the zoom h4n pro this is a handy recorder so this is how the comes in the box so a quick follow of the features it has the pristine stereo or four channels of recording up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz so regularly 24 bit 48 kilohertz is plenty so 86 is even way higher so very very good it has a redesigned stereo xy pattern microphone is able to handle up to 140 decibels it has a new super low noise preamps less than negative 120 it has different kind of features like uh, emulation reverb delay bass and it also has a capability up to 32 gigs not included in the package this right here is the all new black edition it's a 2020 model let's get right into the unboxing shall we this right here is the big user manual this thing right here is loaded with a bunch of features that right here all right, as we can see right here, it comes in a nice carrying case package. This right here is just for preventing some scuff and scratches. This does not, it is not waterproof. It also brings two AA batteries. So, okay. let's put the box right in here. So you are looking at the all new 2020 Zoom H4n Pro. This is the all black edition. Right in here on the bottom, we can see the two XLR, and it also comes with the lock features, which is will prevent you for accidentally pulling the XLR cable. This has four channels, so it will have a stereo. Uh, sound coming from the top and two mono sounds coming from the bottom that's one and two okay so let's install the battery Right in here on the battery compartment, it has something called stamina mode. And this allows you record it to being operated for a longer period of time, but at the expense of quality. Okay, right on the back right here, we have a, a connection. So you can use a light stand or a tripod to connect it. We have a 3.5 millimeter stereo sound right in here from the back. This right here will be used to connect a lavalier mic or a microphone. On the right side, it has a compartment for an SD card right in here, and it has a way to adjust your gain levels and menu. And right here, that's how you operate the interface. Right here, it has a record button, and this is how you it tells you how to navigate so you can get to folder, file, speed. This is how to change it to wave or mp3 right in here it has three different lights it has a light for stereo four channels and mtr okay let's turn this bad boy on on the left side right in here we have the power button you're doing that by holding this switch to the power and it has a hole this is for uh, preventing you for changing your gain or any kind of settings USB, this is for connecting to your computer. Volume, audio, and remote. Okay, let's turn this bad boy on. Okay, one thing about this microphone is that it has the reputation of taking 30 to 60 seconds to turn on, depending on the SD card that you insert. I went ahead and grabbed a Ultra Plus Sandisk card. 
and up to 130 megabytes per second this will be good enough for the recorder now it's loading this could take from 30 seconds all the way to a minute and that's one of the cons of this H4n Pro is the fact that it takes a while meanwhile this is loading we can go ahead and show you some of the accessories that I got for it a phone mic so you can use it when it's windy outside this right here they call it the deck cat to RC8 this will be used for to connecting it to the back of a speaker or to a mixer okay two more XLR two XLR cables and I also got two of these XLR to one fourth so so I'm gonna turn it on and change to the zoom H4n and see how does this sound. Start recording. So right now I'm recording in the H4n Pro and right in here we can appreciate how the sound is coming straight from the H4n. This is a test one two one two how does the audio quality sounds and this is it folks this is a quick unboxing of the h4n pro if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the like button comment down below and i'll see you in the next one peace